What's going on? Brandon Epstein here from Mental Fitness Training. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my experience of meditating over the past 12 years and the results that I personally found. So if you just started meditating or you're considering getting into meditation, I think this is a really good video to just like future pace, you know, 10, 12 years into the future to understand some of the benefits and results that you can get if you do this consistently. So let me get right into it. The first thing that I started to gain when I meditated, and as I've been meditating, I've gotten better and better at this, is just having self-awareness. Essentially, moving from a place of unconscious incompetence to a place of conscious incompetence, which means that when you meditate, you're able to uncover the ways that you are possibly self-sabotaging and you're able to bring awareness to those. So maybe you don't have the immediate answer of how you can change that, but you gain the awareness and so you begin to put yourself in a place where you can start to look for solutions. And if you never take that first step of just taking that unconscious and bringing it conscious, bringing it to the conscious level, then you can never start to try to find solutions because the problem is buried beneath the subconscious and you don't even know it exists. So that's the first thing. When you start to meditate more consistently, you slow things down, you're able to move from primarily beta brainwaves into more alpha, maybe even theta and delta. And when you get more into those primary uh, brainwaves, you're able to get yourself into a place where you can move the unconscious into the conscious. Now the second thing that I really started to notice and I really was able to tap into this when I was in college and this benefited me getting you know in school getting better grades and starting to get research grants to do more of this work uh, that I'm doing today which was the ability to focus better because ultimately focus is just your ability to channel your mind into the present moment right and that's something we all struggle with so much but when you meditate consistently it's like building a muscle because when you never meditate, your mind doesn't have that mental strength. So it goes and starts playing movies from the past and you start stressing about what happened before, or you start to bring your mind into the future and you start future pacing, you have anxiety about things that haven't even happened yet. When you start to meditate more consistently, you have more awareness. So you're able to see, oh, wait a minute, why am I living in the past or in the future? Let me bring myself back into the present moment. Let me focus here and now. The third thing I've started to benefit the most from the last 12 years is being able to create a clear vision in my mind. So being able to see through my mind's eye, which is picturing images and visions within my mind before they actually happen. Now, contrary to popular belief, this isn't just something that we can all do and it's really easy for us. It's actually something that you can build as a skill like anything else. The more you practice it, the better you get. So the more you close your eyes and you try to visualize what you're trying to create in your life, the better you get at it. The more details you can see, the more clear it is, and the more easy it is for you to have a vision to try to create in the future. So meditation is great for building the ability to experience the world before it actually happens. And this is so big because how do we create what we want? Well, we first need to visualize it to know what we want to create so we know what actions we need to take. Basically, future pacing, seeing it in our mind, and then asking ourselves in the future, what must I do to get here? And then going back into the present moment and starting to take the focus action. Now, after 12 years of meditating, I found that I've really been able to move from being a reactive person, which I used to be, which is, you know, someone insults me and all of a sudden, you know, I just immediately react by feeling bad or wanting to attack this person. And now I'm able to just observe more. I'm not really triggered. There's almost this like empty space between me and the event that's coming on. And instead of immediately just feeling triggered, I'm able to sit back and just be like, hmm, I feel an emotion arising. Where is that coming from? Do I want that? And if I don't, how can I change this? So that's really big. And once you meditate, again, it's just like a muscle. You get better and better at slowing things down, becoming the observer instead of the reactor. The next thing is just overall having more peace of mind. So you can imagine if you're not reacting to things as much and people can't push your buttons and make you feel bad and you're able to just be more of the observer, well, that's gonna allow you just to be more peaceful. And the same thing goes with when you get better at focusing. Well, if you're not future pacing and worrying about stuff in the future or stressing about things that happened in the past, you're gonna have more peace in the present moment. Because really, if we can get into the present moment, if you're not physically being harmed in the moment, 
there's going to be peace there waiting for you. And so that's a huge thing. Once you meditate consistently, you'll begin to cultivate all these skills, which allow you to have more peace in the present moment. The next thing I found really important throughout my journey of meditating is gaining the ability to be mentally resilient, which essentially means that I'm trying to move towards a goal or some outcome that I want, and then an obstacle comes in front of me. So if you're not mentally strong, which meditation helps with, you see that obstacle and you might want to give up or you might make an excuse why you don't want that goal anymore or outcome anymore. Essentially, through meditation, you're able to push through those obstacles or the resistance that's there and get to the other side to eventually get to that ideal outcome or goal. And this is so big because whether you want to make more money or achieve your health goals or get better relationships or have more success in your job or your career, you're going to come against obstacles or resistance. So your ability to overcome those obstacles are ultimately going to lead to you having a better experience of life. So the more you meditate, the more you're able to build that mental strength to be able to persevere through these obstacles and get what you want. Now, the final thing that I've gained through meditation actually goes a little bit beyond meditation. So what I found over the years is that it's been incredible to use meditation as a tool, just like there's many tools out there, as a tool to help with all the things I've mentioned so far in this video. Now, this tool is great for all those things, but there actually is another level to this. And what this level is that I discovered is something that I umbrella meditation under, which is called mental fitness training. Now, through mental fitness training, you're utilizing meditation as a tool to control how you feel, how you behave, and what you create. But under this umbrella of mental fitness training, you're also able to utilize other tools and other skill sets similar to meditation to get exactly what you want. Now, once I was able to uncover that, I got a lot better at using the skills I already built through meditation to now get into that subconscious place where meditation allows you to go and do more deep work and move through the resistance that's there. So essentially taking that step from meditation definitely helps you go from unconscious incompetence to conscious incompetence, knowing what the problem is. When you do mental fitness training as I outline it, it helps you go from conscious incompetence, knowing what you need to change to conscious competence, which is actually the next level where you see what you need to change and you actually go in at the subconscious level and you change those subconscious programs to align yourself with what you want to create. Because ultimately, this is how you create anything in your life. You have an outcome that you want to create. Now you need to support that outcome with the right programs on the subconscious level to create that. You also need to support that with the right habits or actions. And so on the subconscious level, we know that your mind is processing information so much faster than the conscious level. When you're just conscious and you don't meditate, you don't do any of this stuff, you're only processing information at a rate of around six to 40 bits of information per second. Now, when you can tap into that subconscious through tools like meditation, you're able to process information at over 40 million bits of information per second. So that is an enormous difference, and that's why when you start to meditate and when you start to do mental fitness training, you really can become a conscious creator of your reality. So depending on where you are in your journey, I want to give you a couple different options from where you can go from here and you know, really just sharing from my experience and my experience working with myself and my clients and what's worked best for them. Number one, if you just want to begin the practice of meditation, I have a meditation app I will link up in the description, in the description below. And that's going to give you a number of guided meditations that are going to help you build the practice, build the habit of starting to meditate consistently, and also starting to feel the way you want to feel and to help you with everything from sleeping better to feeling less anxiety and really feeling more focused to achieving your goals. Now, if you're someone who's feeling ambitious and you're like, you know what, I've been meditating for a while, is there another level to this? The answer is yes. The next level is mental fitness training. So if you're interested in that, I have a free mental fitness training book. I make it available to everyone who's in my community. That's also linked up in the description below. Just go over to my site, put your email in it, and I'll send it right over to you. And through that mental fitness training, you are going to become, you're going to become a conscious creator of your reality where you can control how you feel how you behave and what you create in your life. But it all starts with controlling how you feel because you probably know this. Anytime you feel good, you intrinsically feel motivated to take more positive action and create more positive outcomes in your life. When you're feeling bad, 
you're more likely to participate in negative habits or you're more likely just to do nothing at all and stay stuck where you are. So the first step is beginning to feel good because when you feel good, it empowers you to take better action and create better outcomes. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. My name is Brandon Epstein. If you want to follow me personally um, on Instagram, it's linked up in the description below as well. Brandon Epstein underscore is my Instagram. Uh, you're more than welcome to drop any comments or questions you have below. Uh, if you want to know anything else about my experience meditating and the results I've gotten over the last 12 years. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you start meditating. Uh, it's the gift that keeps on giving. And finally, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next vid.